Hi, this is Gil Robles here, and I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm not going to draw, but I am going to introduce a drawing that I have done. And what I'm going to do is show you how to set up a 3D model in uh, Clip Studio Paint Pro. Now, um, there have been a few videos I've seen on this. I, I've just learned on, about this, and I just want to share with you why I think this is so great. Um, finding a right model is, is a, or a right reference is very, very difficult. Sometimes you have to, um, sometimes you have to take your own pictures or sometimes you have to find the right picture. So let me just set up a canvas right here. I am setting up for illustration. Uh, I'm uh, making it a, a portrait. And the height is 15 inch, width is 10 inch, and resolution 350. Uh, great, uh, 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 great numbers to um, make a decent sized image and click OK. Um, and so let me introduce a drawing that I had done. I do these images from uh, for on my lunch hour at work. And, uh, you know, I just spent some time sketching, looking at YouTube videos listen to music or whatever you know but this is how I just spend my time all right so I'm going to drop this in here and what I'm going to need is a uh, is a 3d model I'm also going to decrease the transparency or, or the decrease the opacity increase the transparency and uh, there you have it so I'm going to look over here where you have uh, these uh, 3D models. These uh, I'm going to 3D. You have this window over here. I go to 3D. I go to body type. Now there are a lot of things you can do these preset poses and so forth. I'm going to go to body type and I'm looking for a female. And so what I'm going to do is take this, drag this over here, and it will give me a mannequin. Now um, that I am able to pose, uh, let me, the best way to pose this is to, um, uh, well, first of all, you have several options here. And each one of them you can do different things with. Uh, I click on the joints, and that will allow me to move this arm like that. I can also see when you you have a you see these green lines, red lines, blue lines. When you uh, hover over them and they turn yellow, that's when you can move them. Okay, and uh, okay. And sometimes, this, now this can be a little hard, um, so it takes a little bit of getting used to. So there you go. And there, well anyway. So then I want to bring this arm down as well. And then, you know, you move the hands, you click near the joints, and then you can, uh, I'm going to do that. And also, when you do the hands, you have an option over here where there are certain uh, presets. Now, you can go and move every finger if you want to, or you can go ahead and, and say, I want to do her hand holding something there. And in this hand, I didn't want it as closed, and that'll that'll work for me. Um, let me see if I and then maybe this one I bring back a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, it can take a little getting used to, 
all these uh, but there so now okay let me bring the head down a little bit you have controls over here where you can uh, turn the head let me see that's not turning the head ah here we go you can bring the head down and so forth so that's pretty much that's pretty much what I want okay now what we can do oh move the wrong thing here click back on in here now we can do is uh, we can bring this closer to us right and uh, bring this down a little bit so, not too far down well and uh, you remember that this model is in 3D so we're actually turning it. Whoops. All right. You can always go undo. And uh, okay. Let's see if I can. I want to get within the um, the canvas area, not have it go too far off. So okay, this is pretty much what I wanted. Doesn't have to be exact. But um, there are ways that I can make this mannequin look even more uh, the, uh, um, uh, make the reference better. So here you can adjust the body type. Now you get these boxes. I don't know why I can't move these boxes other than by doing this. But you see you, there's no way to grip the box so that it will move. So now this is a way of manipulating this thing so that we can change the, 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 the look of the mannequin. Now it can look like a slim kid. Oh, and before I go into this, there's also uh, we can switch to light source here and get some lighting on this mannequin. You see there's this ball and you can, uh, by just going sliding around you can kind of direct where you want the light to come from you obviously the the light is hitting these lightest areas struck by the ball and then you know it goes down you can make it go sideways come from downwards I'm wanting to look more like this the, the light is overhead and not make it too dark Okay, that's that. That's fine. Um, now, again, back to adjusting the body size. So there's uh, your choices here from kid to sensual down here to overweight to slim. Just let me show you what overweight does. Don't want that. Slim looks totally emaciated here. Um, I like to slide it down to the sensual side get more or less what I want don't want it going skinny so let's see that, that seems about right okay so and there are other options too you can adjust it this way um, more on the central side uh, so and um, one more option is this bone right here where you can adjust individual body parts if you want to say make the head a little longer which I do not want maybe like that is fine head width you can make it a little wider and that's fine uh, neck width and neck length again you can make the adjustments there uh,
too much. That sounds right. Torso length and width again. Okay. Make her a little taller. You can increase the arm length as well. Make it shorter, longer, shorter, shorter here, longer, or keep it a, what I think is a decent size. That's fine. You can also increase the width of the arm, which I don't want to. You know, I don't want to do it and make it look all wonky. Uh, torso, let's bring this torso like that. And that's about it. You can do the same thing for the hand, the, the foot. We don't, we can't see the foot. With that's okay. All right. So now what I have here is a mannequin that I can uh, lower the opacity again. I have I still have this layer. I can bring it up again and use that as my drawing layer. But in this one, I can decrease the opacity and uh, you know, and with the the drawing, I can keep the drawing before me. And uh, just use this as a point of reference. It's not perfect, but as a point of reference, it, it certainly does meet the need. So um, now I have something to be able to draw a more accurate gesture to my figure. That's it. That's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, there, there will be plenty more videos where when I, when I learn things, I share them. I share what I already know. And I also uh, spend a lot of time doing uh, uh, paintings and drawings that I share here as well. Um, if you think this video was of any uh, service to you, then uh, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing. I have many more videos where uh, you'll actually see me doing some painting and drawing and so forth. But I just wanted to share this, this great, great uh reference tool right here in Clip Studio Paint Pro and I'm sure it's an EX as well because you pay a lot more for EX and so it should be there. So anyway, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. See you back soon.